Hi, I am Madeline DePino, a student at the Yukon School of Pharmacy, working in conjunction with Dr. C. Michael White, Distinguished Professor in the School of Pharmacy. In this video, I will be discussing the question, does the COVID-19 vaccine cause Bell's palsy? This is part of a series of the Pfizer and Moderna COVID-19 vaccines, and we hope you find it informative. We are providing this general information based on our assessment of the COVID-19 vaccine literature, and it was current at the time of the recording. This is not a substitute for medical advice provided by your personal healthcare provider. And if you have a medical emergency, please call 911 right away. We have not received funding from Pfizer, Moderna, or from any group. We just want to help you make an informed decision. Many of you may be asking what Bell's palsy is. Bell's palsy can be described as a condition that causes a weakness or paralysis in muscles of the face. Bell's palsy can occur over a period of 48 to 72 hours and usually affects just one side of the face. Some signs of Bell's palsy are sudden weakness in the face, drooling or inability to close one eye, which can result in eye dryness. I have found that Bell's palsy is unlikely related to the Pfizer or Moderna COVID-19 vaccines, and here's why. For the four patients who got the vaccine and also had Bell's palsy, they had symptoms at different times after the vaccine doses. For one participant, symptoms started three days after the injection. For another, it started on day nine. For another person, it started on day 37. And for the last person, it started on day 48. If getting the vaccine caused this condition, patients would have likely presented with Bell's palsy symptoms at the same time after the injection. In addition, Bell's palsy does occur in people who have never gotten the COVID-19 vaccine because sometimes it just happens. Bell's palsy usually occurs in 23 per 100,000 people in the general population. So the four people out of 38,000 getting the vaccine who had Bell's palsy is in line with what we would expect and weakens the chances that the vaccine is the culprit. Given all of this information, the experts have determined that there's no causal relationship between the vaccine and facial paralysis. Bell's palsy usually resolves within 48 to 72 hours, but can be confused with symptoms of a stroke. For that reason, please contact your physician if you or anyone you know is experiencing new onset facial paralysis regardless of whether it is in relation to taking the vaccine or not. Thank you for listening.